Boah. Man, oh man. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. You know, I talk to people all the time who, who uh, are saying they don't have time to pray, that they don't have any time to pray, that they like to pray, but they don't have any time to pray. You know, I was reading a book by Father Michael Scanlon. He is a priest, uh, used to be, a, he's a Franciscan priest who uh, used to be the president of the Franciscan University of Steubenville, and he was talking about prayer. And he pointed this out. He said that people who say that they don't have time to pray, um, that they actually, that's not the issue. That the issue isn't a time issue. The issue is a faith issue. What he meant by that is this. He said, um, essentially, if we think that something is going to be valuable, we always find time to do it. If we think we're actually going to be changed by this, it's actually going to help us, we always find time to do it. The reality is we don't actually, many of us who struggle with finding time to pray, we don't actually think that it quote unquote works or that it's quote unquote worth it. Do we really believe that God is going to fight for us? You know, that, that verse comes from the book of Exodus. You know the story that God is delivering his people from slavery in Egypt. And at one point they're saying, what are we going to do? This, you know, massive army of the most powerful nation in the world at the time is chasing us down. And in Exodus 14, verse 13 and 14, God says this. He says, um, Moses, through Moses, Moses answers, says, Fear not, stand your ground. You'll see the victory the Lord himself will win for you today. And in verse 14 it says, the Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Now, that's not an invitation to quietism or simply passivity, like I'll just let it happen to me. What it is, is this. We have so much frenetic energy in the course of our, our day, so much frenetic activity in the course of our day, that many of us don't ever take a moment to stop, to stand still. So we think, if I stand still, I'll lose my edge. If I stand still, I'll lose. If I stand still, then all will be lost. It's all about losing. Standing still means losing. And yet here in Exodus, standing still means winning. So here's my invitation. If you struggle with finding time to pray, just do a little self-reflection. It might not be a time issue. In fact, it might be more like a faith issue. Like, I don't really believe that the Lord is willing to fight for me. I don't, I'm not willing, I don't, I don't really believe that I can trust him. I don't really believe that prayer works. Because why? Because if I give up 20 minutes, if I give up half an hour, if I give up an hour every day to simply just pray, then I'm going to lose. And yet, in Exodus 14, if you stand still with the Lord, you find out that you're actually going to win.